2016 slowly fades away. A new year emerges. 2017 will present itself to the world with what may be the biggest year in film to date. Some may wonder which will top the charts, but it's too soon to even think about. Right now, what is real, what you can grasp, is the feeling inside. The feeling of excitement. The feeling of joy and impatience. The feeling of anticipation. And now, Wormerful Reviews presents the top 10 most anticipated movies of 2017. Coming in at number 10, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Guardians of the Galaxy surprised everyone with their cast of lovable misfits, the emergence of Chris Pratt as a beefcake, and solidified the Guardians as legit heroes who can go toe to toe with anybody. <laughs> That's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! Totally fake. I am Groot. Thank you. Oh. As if the cast for the Guardians of the Galaxy wasn't big enough, Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell will join this group of outcasts. Vin Diesel, who plays Groot in the film, confirmed via his Facebook page that a crossover with the Avengers will happen leading up to the Infinity War. Coming in at number 9, we are talking of course about our favorite ape anti-hero who is back in the third installment War of the Planet of the Apes. The rise of the Planet of the Apes showed the beginning of the end to the human race as a virus wiped out most of the population while simultaneously giving apes human-like intelligence. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes expanded the world in which apes live in harmony until human survivors posed a threat to the ape's village. A thrilling movie filled with electrifying scenes like apes riding horses while shooting assault rifles. Apes plus horses plus assault rifles. Now in 2017, War of the Planet of the Apes is expected to take the story to an even higher ceiling. We make contact! Military! They're already on their way! Now Caesar knows human soldiers are coming to put an end to the apes once and for all. So can Caesar lead his people to the promised land? Will the humans take back their crumbled world? Will Andy Serkis finally win an Oscar? Stay in the lookout because at least two of these will come true. Underoos are coming. Underoos are coming. Spider-Man Homecoming is the number 8th most anticipated film of 2017. Captain America Civil War brought to life the version of Spider-Man we all wanted to see. No more emo Peter Parker. No more super intelligent dull Peter Parker, but a Peter Parker with a hot end? I mean, Spider-Man Homecoming will feature a teenage boy who has particular set of skills ready to delight us with jokes, fun crime-stopping montages, and high school drama. It has already been confirmed the Spidey will be fighting three villains, the Vulture, played by Michael Keaton, the Tinkerer, played by Logan Marshall Green, and an unknown villain, played by Bokeem Woodbine. Yes, a lot of people are saying this is a red flag, but I trust Marvel to handle their screen time correctly. Sticking with another comic book film, we have the Rated R Wolverine. With the popularity of this character and following the success of Deadpool as the first rated R comic book film to be an absolute triumph, it's hard not to get excited about Wolverine 3. 17 years and 9 films later, Hugh Jackman has confirmed he will hang up the claws as this iconic comic book character. Old Man Logan will take the place in the future of the current X-Men timeline, and it will be interesting to see how it ties in with the current events from X-Men Apocalypse. All we know, there will be gore, blood, and nothing but badassery. Deadpool was able to break the fourth wall, and I'm sure Wolverine can break the fifth wall. If there is a fifth wall. Skull Island comes in as the sixth most anticipated film of 2017. The biggest King Kong in American film history. Check. Samuel L. Jackson. Check. Setting up the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. Check. 2014, Godzilla was an instant classic and the Godzilla America deserved. Now, after Godzilla vs. King Kong was confirmed by Warner Brothers, we cannot wait to see what this new Kong will be. Godzilla was an indestructible lizard, dragon, thing the size of a skyscraper. How can a big gorilla top this, you say? From the San Diego Comic-Con trailer, you see how massive Kong is going to be in this universe. The original 1933 King Kong lost its life meddling with the human. Peter Jackson's 2005 King Kong was a huge gorilla who eventually lost its life meddling with the human. Harambe was a gorilla who lost its life meddling with the human. Man, I hope that's not how the new Kong is destined to die. That would be a huge letdown. The Amazon goddess will take on the World War I German army while at the same time learning about male genitalia. You're a man. Actress Gail Godot reprises her role as Wonder Woman in this action-packed adventure directed by Patty Jenkins, the first female director in a major comic book film. The character was first introduced in Zack Snyder's Batman vs Superman and received a lot of praise for her on-screen appearance, so expect a line at the box office.
And now coming in at number four, with a successful chain of films around his neck, Christopher Nolan adds another to his list. Dunkirk, although very vague with its real trailer, takes the audience on a breathtaking ride that delivers. Nolan is very well known for his visual storytelling and powerful musical scores. This will also be his first war film. Can this be to him what Saving Private Ryan is to Spielberg? To find out, we will have to wait until next year. Sorry, Matthew. Coming in at number 3, Justice League, directed by everyone's favorite director, Zack Snyder. 2016 was a roller coaster ride for fans of the DCEU as it saw critics bashing their two blockbuster films, Batman vs. Superman and Suicide Squad. 2017 will finally bring to the big screen the Justice League. Batman will use all his detective skills to get all the metahumans together and he will stop at nothing, searching through all deleted emails necessary. Ben Affleck and Gal Gadot will reprise their roles from the Batman vs. Superman film and finally team up Cyborg, portrayed by Ray Fisher, The Flash, played by Ezra Miller, and Aquaman, played by Cal Drogo of the Dothraki, and they will all get their big screen debut. Wait, Superman is in this? I'm just getting the breaking news. Superman is not dead. I repeat, Superman is not dead. Guess we better tell Martha. Why did you say that dad? Haven't gotten your Disney fix yet? Well, we invite you to be our guest. Keeping along on their path to bring their classic films to the live action universe comes the epic tale of Beauty and the Beast. A true romantic story as old as time about love conquering the beast in us all, and not in the way the beast is conquered in King Kong. Starring Emma Watson of Harry Potter and directed by Bill Condon of Twilight Breaking Dawn and Dreamgirls fame. Bells bring your beasts. And beasts, try not to shed your hair in the popcorn please. And our number one most anticipated movie of 2017? If you felt a disturbance in the Force, you were right. Currently untitled eighth installment of the galaxy's favorite saga, Star Wars, has us all ready to grab our lightsabers and take on the First Order. With an already stellar cast introducing The Force Awakens and a familiar gang of heroes from the original trilogy, Disney has once again raised the bar in casting Benicio del Toro and Lara Dern. Directed by Ryan Johnson and scored by John Williams, there's no reason not to make the jump to light speed to a theater near you. Unless you have no faith in Disney, in which case... Rebels Hidden Fort. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. Hey folks, David Lua, how you doing? If you enjoyed this top 10, please let us know. If you don't like it, the fuck out of here. But, if you did enjoy it, please, tell us what you thought. Comment down below. We got many, many, many surprises coming for you next year, as well as Hollywood. They're not the only ones with surprises, believe me. I've got many surprises for you, but you're going to have to subscribe to find out. Thank you.